I want to paint you. Paint me like one of your French girls. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today it's a double shot Wednesday, a scrap mechanic. I mean, you can't hate on that. I know. I got in uh, some Inspirado uh, to paint some vehicles that I have uh, earlier created. And, of course, some people have uh, requested it, too. So I'm like, uh, sure, why not? Uh, let's go and hop in. So I decided to do an army episode. A little bit of army paint. So we got our little uh, Jeep right here, man. Woo! And it is green as green can be. And as you can see, I've taken off the tire because someone suggested like uh, they also have canteens in the back. Giant, like not canteens, but like uh, gas canisters. And I was like, that makes total sense. And plus, it was a little butt heavy. It was a little, a little heavy in the booty, if you know what I mean. Know what I mean, bro? So uh, I replaced it with a little, uh, little gas canister. And man, does it raise up. You raise me up. Now, as far as putting like white stars on the oh, chisel, hi. As far as putting uh, stars on the side of it, let's not get nutty, if you know what I mean. But army green, everything looking good. I think it looks really nice. It looks really nice. Um, all the nuts and the bolts are painted white. Everything here is painted gray, even though it already is gray. Might as well just give it a nice little one over here. And plus, put the uh, um, elbow bearings. Oh, hey. It does add a little nice kind of like uh, consistent texture that goes along with the gray pole. So that way, maybe we get rid of this. It's kind of gray. It's even grayer. It's all depending on how rustic you want to get, but if you want a little sleekness going on there, go ahead and spray those bad boys up and you'll be all kinds of fancy. See, even like right there. Look at it. It's all, it, it all works, you know? We're in the shade. We shall fight in the shade. Uh, let's see. What do I have you painted this here? You're green. Everything's green. Green, green, everything except for anything metal is all in silver. Silver! Or gray. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it. Honk honk. Woo! <laughs> this switch is not connected to anything. Really? I wonder what I was planning on having not connected to. I completely forget. Oh, I think that was for the radio. For the radio. But indeed, super duper cool. Hold on a second. Let's, let's move you. I want to move you. Ooh, 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 uh, uh, uh. There you go there, buddy. I'll tell you what, this thing hauls pretty nice. It's just got to watch out it doesn't like tip over, just like a regular Jeep. But we do have sensors on the side so that that way that doesn't happen too much. Too, too much. Which gives me, this this color gives me some inspirado to build uh, one of my, oh, I just thought of something super dope. Oh, I got to build it now. But, I, mean, I ain't gonna tell you. No spoilers. No spoilers. Let's do it for the, do it for the thumbnail. I ain't gonna do it. Hold on. Do it for the thumbnail. I ain't gonna do it. Yeah, this color gives me inspiration to do something do something a little silly. And I think all y'all are gonna love it. But, that is for a later episode, because today, we are painting. Uh, so yes, the Jeep. She is green. She is perfect. She's green, white, and gray. Screenshot. Fantastic. Love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, wrong button there. But, um, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, the only things that you really can't color are the uh, springs, the suspension. And for all the people that I've uh, seen on my uh, Scrap Mechanic comments, all the people that are like, yo, why don't you just like point and drag and then you can paint all the areas all together. You don't have to go individually. Well... See how I'm placing like these are little metal are little metal uh, I beams. I couldn't think of that word. I beams. Okay. For any individual block that you have here, all right. Anything that has to be individually placed where you can't like spread it out. So wood, you can spread it out all with like one click, drag it over, and then you got yourself a shape. Um, but as far as individual shapes, if you want to paint these bad boys, these I can't. I can't point and drag. And if I right click, it just get rid gets rid of it. So you have to individually paint any kind of block that you individually place. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you do go over here, I get it that you can let's paint it something different. Let's get, get some cherry red. I know. You can take it, you can spread it on. 
and that's super easy but if you want a certain kind of texture you don't know, want the wood texture you don't want the concrete texture you go with the metal and unfortunately with metal uh, it's individual but with individual you can also you know, spray now this also is an issue where if you have a creation that you want to paint like the next creation I'm about to show you uh, where I painted it and it kind of looks a little funky but at the same time kind of cool at the same time um, I made it with a bunch of these long eye beams now if you want to say like you got some pixel art going here and then you reach an area where you planted this giant eye beam it's gonna paint the whole thing and you can't do anything about it only individuals so if you're planning on painting your ride you're gonna have to meticulously plan where are you going to put these big eye beams because you can only color the entire block at the same time? It's all right, you know. What I'm saying like it's not. There can't be problems. I mean, there's going to be there's going to be problems. I ran into it with uh, my particular build that we're going to do next. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh uh. Boom 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 boom. Making a little. Little designs everywhere. I'll tell you what, with uh, someone actually commented on the comment section down below too, uh, where she's like, I really like how your uh, builds come alive with paint, and they do. I mean, it looks so cool how you can just add individual uh, individuality to every single one of your personal builds. Um, speaking of personal builds and speaking of army paint, what we're going to do is I'm going to hop, skip, and a jump over to another area where we have done a paint job, and hopefully, you enjoy. So I'll be back in a hot, hot second. You're pretty. So, so pretty. I like you. You're very nice. And we're back. And we're in our little desert world. Flat world. No trees. No, no boulders. No mountains. But there is a hover tank. The penis cannon, she is back. Man the penis cannon. The penis cannon to the rescue. Our hover tank. Um, since it was in a uh, desert... Like this is kind of like a desert testing area. I was gonna do something that's like camouflage, but like I said here, remember how I was saying with those I beams? I didn't want to take anything apart and then put it back together because if uh, you don't take it apart, it's gonna be uh, a possibility that you are going to uh, break your whole thing. And I don't want to break my whole thing, so no one wants to break the thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, bro? So I tried my best to make it as desert camouflagey as I could. When it comes to the different kinds of colorations, 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 color color schemes that you can really go with. Uh, let's get some. I'll tell you what. Let's get some wood blocks and we'll just demonstrate. Demonstration, demonstration. We're learning today, kind of. All right. So I painted it. I started by painting it all like this. All right. It has a little bit of a desert kind of beige to it, and then the other colors are just straight up brown. And then this off kind of like yellowish green area, which is kind of as close as I could see to an actual camouflage. I was looking at a couple pictures of desert camouflage, and this is as close as I can get because if I go like this, it's just gonna, it's a little too light in the green, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ah, right. And then we have this, which is kind of like a more yellowish kind of tone to it. I don't like that. And then orange is just straight orange. So, I mean, that's the same color as the metal that we used to build it. So, as far as trying to get it now, you can also do kind of like a digital. I mean, it's kind of, it's, this is mostly all digital camo, obviously, because it's pixel art. Um, but you could also kind of go a little nutty with it, too, if you want. So, let's go and cover this white. If you want to go for kind of a snow theme, you get the little gray here. And then. Mix it in with maybe a darker gray, and then that, that would be pretty cool. And then you can paint this up. Boom, boom. I don't know. Let's get a little nutty. Let's get, let's get stupid. Let's get, let's just get dumb. Um, boom, 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 boom. Bum, 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 bum. So having a little bit of digital camo action, a little feel, a little flavor to the, a little flavor to the flavor. Do you think that I could get some wiki wiki? Hmm. 
So there's all kinds of different variations that you could do. Now, of course, this is just an example of this, but uh, as far as like a regular camouflage though, um, now we're getting into some craziness here. Let's just, uh, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna go deep green, deep green. Because then we can just go ahead and we can do all kinds of nuttiness. And then let's go ahead, let's put a little black in there too. Yeah, there we go. There we go, yes, yes, yes. Good, good, very good, yes. <laughs> did I do it like this? Yes, I did. Okay. Take this, take this up, make it go this way. We'll take this, we'll have this come over here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, bro? No, I'm not doing that. Really stupid or something. There we go. We'll take this. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. I boop your nose. Boop. So there's all kinds of different variations you can do. And it's all up to your discretion to go ahead and throw down some of the coolest paints that you could probably try and find. Now I'm sure people can do this better. I'm just giving examples of what I did over here because this entire thing, I mean, it kind of looks uh, it looks a little all over the place. But I got I try to get it as close to the desert theme look as I could without getting people angry because when it comes to army vehicles people get angry if you don't get them perfectly right so I uh, did miss a couple spots in the back here so let's, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, do this you know what I'm saying so let's go see that's it du, du, boop, 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 boop. and then we'll take the brown try to brown go to town boot scoot boogie boom boom and then you just spread it around. It's up to your... Uh, see now, right there. That's what I'm talking about with those I-beams. If you use any of those long I-beams, you're, you're painting the whole thing and you have no choice. You got no choice. So, it looks like there's going to be something where... Like I said, you're going to have to plan out. Like, do I really want to color this entire thing? This entire thing green. Sometimes people will uh, want that. Some people won't. It's up to you. It's up to your creative inspiration. Inspirado, if you will. I think it looks about as good as it's gonna get, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's go ahead and cover these black. Bull. I know, thank you. I already got that. There we go. Ha! Penis cannon! Man the penis cannon! The penis cannon must be manned. Why is it? Why? Why does a man have to be on the penis cannon? Because, because we're men. That's what we do. Penis cannon for the win. Uh, whoa. Okay. And we're hovering. Kind of. There we go. And we're hover tanking it up, baby. Woo! <laughs> So folks, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, hit like, it helps my channel out ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night, peace out, life, shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Scrap Mechanic next time. How do I do this? I keep forgetting how to drive my own creations here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, uh, okay, okay, so now we're gonna go and... Now we're up. All right, all right, yeah. Yeehaw. Oh God, help, help. No, it's a mess. It's a mess. Well, at least you can't see me because I'm camouflaged. Oh, uh, he said it. <laughs>